Reef Bum is sponsored by Bulk Reef Supply and Ecotech Marine. Hey everybody and welcome back to another video. In this video, I wanted to give an update on the 187 gallon display tank. But before I do that, if you want to help support the channel and pick up some SPS frags, you can do so at reefbum.com. And with that, let's get into the video. So it's been about four months since I planted frags in this 187 gallon tank. And uh, as you may recall, I did a big reboot on this tank. I took down the, uh, the established uh, reef some mature big colonies and uh, I pulled out the Haitian live rock and I swapped it out with the Carib Sea life rock that I had cooking in a 100 gallon Rubbermaid tub. You can check out the prior videos to see all the details on the big reboot. But it was about four months ago when I planted some frags, probably about 40 to 45 frags that I planted in the display tank. And you know, the, the tank has recently over the last um, month or two gone into a ugly phase with um, some cyano with I think what is green cyano although I'm not positive so yeah it's been it's been a challenge to um, to fight what uh, what's going on in this tank I've, I've tried a, a bunch of different things and currently what I'm doing is I'm siphoning the sand bed in this tank to try to remove as much of the green algae and the detritus as possible. So I'm going in there right now on a daily basis. And what I'm also doing is I'm taking a power head and blowing the, um, the green cyano off of the rocks. So it's, it's kicking up quite a, uh, a dust storm in the, uh, in the tank. But what I'm also doing on a daily basis is washing my, um, my uh, nylon filter sock. So every day I'm doing that because if I didn't do that, they'd be getting uh, jammed up. So, you know, I'm, I'm kind of taking a, um, um, you know, rolling up my sleeves and, and, and uh, trying to put uh, some good old hard elbow grease into this uh, problem. I don't want to hit it with chemicals. You know, chemi clean to me is just a band-aid. If you don't solve the, uh, the root cause of the issue, then the cyano will eventually return in my opinion. But there, you know, there's, so there's, there's a, an algae issue with this tank right now. And I had been dosing a lot of phosphate, like 30 mLs a day of phosphate in this tank because I had gotten a, a bunch of um, zero readings on the phosphates in this tank. But it's misleading, right? Because if you've got a lot of algae in a tank and you're getting zero phosphate readings and, and low nitrate readings, although my nitrates were up in the, uh, the 10 part per million range in, in this tank, but, um, you know, so I think I was getting false readings with the, uh, with the phosphate and I was just dosing too much phosphate. So in my view, I believe the, um, the Carib Sea Life Rock and the sand bed itself were absorbing a lot of that phosphate. Maybe there was, maybe there was phosphate already in the rock, in that dry rock. Um, you know, having another great experience with the, uh, with the dry rock here versus using live rock, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm determined to, uh, to, to beat this problem. So, and, and uh, even before I did the reboot, I've always had a, a cyano issue with this uh, tank on the, uh, on the sand bed in particular. You know, when I, when I did the, um, the complete tear down of this tank and removed all the rock, I, I removed some, a lot of calcified sand. So I thought that would help. But um, so the, you know, the, the big thing in my view is that, um, you know, perhaps there is some phosphate that's been leaching out of that sand. But I, I did a little bit of a test. I took a, a clump of sand and I put it in a cup of RODI water, let it sit overnight. And then I did a, a test on that. And, you know, I was getting a 0 0.08 readings in terms of the, uh, the phosphate. You know, right now <clears throat> for the tank in general, my uh, phosphate readings are 0.01 to um, 0 0.06. Again, how accurate is that? I'm, I'm not sure. So I've, um, over a number of weeks, I've lowered the, uh, the phosphate dosing down to pretty much zero. And the nitrate dosing is pretty much down to zero. The, uh, the nitrates have dropped to about 2.5 parts per million. I've upped my dosing of the uh, bacteria. I, I use the Captivate uh, Remediate, which is about dry bacteria. So I'm 
doing more of that. And yeah, I'm, um, I'm really just trying to reduce the nitrates and phosphates and, and let the, um, the, uh, the phosphates and the rock and the sand um, try, try to remove all that stuff. And, you know, so recently the last week, <clears throat> I've still been getting a little green cyano on the, uh, the sand bed after I, um, I uh, vacuum the sand bed. On the rocks, it's much less, which is a really, really good sign. In, in the 50 gallon frag tank, I've got two frag tanks plumbed into this uh, display tank. In the 50 gallon frag tank, I used to have this, uh, you know, the green cyano on the, uh, on the frag racks. I don't anymore, which I think is a really good sign. In the 75 gallon frag tank, I got a little green cyano, I got a little red cyano, but not anything terrible. So I think I'm on the right track. I gotta just keep slugging this out. I've got um, a little bryopsis in there. I've got some bubble algae in this tank. So, you know, it's definitely, I've, I've got a nutrient issue that I have to solve. And I, I really do think that filtering the sand bed and blasting the rocks, getting all that stuff into the water column so my filter socks can capture. I think the mechanical filtration will, uh, will certainly help in this regard. I've got 100 micron socks. They're definitely needing to be cleaned on a daily basis. So, you know, in terms of the corals and the, and the frags that are in the, uh, the tank, some really good progress, some really good growth. So I'm happy with that. Everything is looking uh, good on that front. It, um, it's not impacting the corals whatsoever. So I'm, I'm happy with the progress. I just kind of need to, uh, to lick this problem in terms of the algae in the tank. And yeah, so that's an update. The other thing I'm, I'm kind of tinkering with, there are some trace elements in terms of dosing certain trace elements to see if that can help eliminate some of the algae, but I'll get into more detail on that in another video if it actually ends up um, being something that I think contributed to solving the problem. So that's uh, an update with the 187 gallon tank. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Until next time, be safe and be well. Later.